Hi, I'm Wendy Vecchi. I'm a signature designer for Ranger, and I'm actually here at Ranger. Uh, and Scrapbook.com invited me to film some videos and to share some of my favorite tips and techniques for World Card Making Week. So thank you, Scrapbook.com. Let's get going. There are many reasons why I love my Make Art Station, and here's a few extra tips that I just kind of figured out. So my stamp stencil die sets from Ranger look like this. Um, I was die cutting one day, and you see this little butterfly here? got lost in the scraps and I didn't have it. So here's a tip. With the magnets now, when I'm die cutting, I have make sure that my station is nearby. I can pop my die cut, my dies right on my um, magnets and I know that they're safe and I'm not gonna lose these little guys. That's just one reason to use the Make Art Station. Here's another little tip. Um, the craft sheet is slippery. My die cut is moving around a lot. So I'm gonna show you an easy way to hold this in place. So I like post-it tape. So I'll take my die cut, I just dropped on the floor. <laughs> Blooper. I'll put that on the end of the tape and I'm gonna put my magnet down. So you'll see that I'm gonna put my magnet down with the brushed aluminum side down. The reason I did that, if I have it this way, when I go to pick the magnet up, it lifts the whole thing up. If I have it this way, it's much easier to operate so now I can take it off without lifting up that tape. So that it, it will still move around, but it makes it a whole lot easier to line up your stencil. So now all I have to do is line up my stencil with my die cut. I'm brain dead today. Okay, I can use my magnets now. If that one's in the way, I can just move it right out of the way. And you'll see I turned it over. We have extra magnets now, so that is super duper handy. And now it's very easy. I can ink this flower. And you can see the stencil doesn't move, the die doesn't move. So that is another reason why I love my station. The station is really, really an excellent tool for stenciling. Um, you'll see that it holds my stencil in place and the cardstock all at one time. You'll see no shifting or no moving at all. And now we have extra magnets, which is really nice because if you're working on a larger uh, stencil, now you have more options for holding it in place securely. So very easy to ink through this stencil. And you'll see that there's no shifting, no moving at all. And this is another reason I love the stencil. And this was actually the main reason we did this. Once we got it, it's like, oh, we can do this and we can do this and we can do these other things too. So you'll see my stencil did not shift. My cardstock did not shift. So it's great for stenciling. Um, another way I like to use this is for sentiments. So if I have a card here, we'll just pretend this is my card here. I'll line it up on my grid, put a magnet down to hold it in place, or two, um, and now I can line up my sentiment strip, oops, I got, got the wrong one here, sentiment strip along the grid line. Glue it down and I know it's perfectly straight. So what happens if I have just a short little sentiment or just a little element that I want to glue down? How do I know that this is straight? So now if I take my magnetic centering ruler, all I have to do is decide where I want to put my element, line up my ruler right on the grid. I can put my perfect card adhesive right on my element, butt it right up against the ruler, and I know it's perfectly straight then. Um, if you ever have a problem with things staying glued down, magnets are an excellent way to put a little bit of pressure on there, and that helps your element stay in place. So really handy-dandy tool. I love the station.